here to give us a little bit of insight is George James Jr., a licensed marriage and family therapist. His licensed therapist, George James Jr. from the Council for Relationships. George James is here. Couples counselor, George James. Therapist, George James. I am Dr. George James. I am with Council for Relationships and I work with individuals, couples, and families on all types of life situations. Summer, you just gotta go outside and you have fun. When it gets a little bit cold or difficult, plan some of those fun activities. Are you working out? What are you eating? Who are you hanging out with? Pay attention to those things because that can be your sign that it's now changing from a okay fall to something that's not so great. Well, one of the things that I've seen is fantasy versus reality. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, we're all in love, we're happy, and we think that love will conquer everything. We see the red flags, we know that there's a difference, but we say, oh, it will work out. Mm -hmm. And that's the fantasy. The reality is we need to talk about this right now and talk about it throughout our relationship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the fantasy, maybe even with the whole Tomcat situation, is that oh, he's passionate. The reality is maybe right. he's a little controlling. Do you feel safe to be who you are, to be vulnerable with that person? And if you are a little nervous in any of those areas, you might not be ready. How many of us can say that we get the most out of our relationship? Where we don't allow fear, conflict, or the lack of skill to keep us from developing quality relationships. As mentioned, I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. And George, why does it seem that fighting is often a tradition for some on the holidays? You know, the truth is, uh, although we love our families and we connect with our families, we have some struggles and drama with our families, and they tend to come out around the holidays. I'd go downstairs, and on my way, I'd do a smell test to see if there are any accidents waiting for me. And when I get down there, I'd then wake up my parents, remove their soiled clothes, clean them up, change them, change the sheets, and then get ready for the day. Sometimes people are able to support their partner, even when everyone else says, I don't understand why you're there. Couples counselor George James says the more evidence of betrayal, the harder it is. While a marriage can be saved, this type of behavior does raise questions. But what are some common reactions for kids to such a, a mass tragedy as what we saw yesterday? You know, kids are dealing with the same things that we are. They're anxious, they're scared, they're nervous. Some of them are detached, not even wanting to think about it. You know, what we go through is also what our kids are going through, but they just show it to us in a different way. 